Let's practice finding the equations of straight lines. I'm going to start with line AB. So remember, to find the equation of a straight line, we know that its general formula is y equals to mx plus c. We need to find the gradient, which is m. And so we know that m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That's the equation of the gradient. And so I'm going to call point B number 1 and point A, sorry, B number 2 and A number 1. So the formula says that I should take the y value of point number 2. So that's B's y value. Now what's B's y value? Well, that's a 1. And so I'm going to say 1 minus A's y value is 3. So I'm just reading it off the graph. B's x value is 3 and A's x value is minus 3. And then at the top of that equation, you're going to get 1 minus 3, which is minus 2. And at the bottom over here, this is going to become a plus, and so that's going to give you 6. And then if you had to simplify this, you would end up getting negative 1 over 3. So the gradient of that line is negative 1 over 3. So look what I've done. I've just folded in like that. And now the next thing to do would be to find c. Now c is your y-intercept, which it appears is a 2 over there. So in this case, we don't have to go and substitute y because we can see the c value over there. However, let's say you didn't see that in a test, then your technique would be to choose a value. So I'm just going to choose b's coordinates. Now b's coordinates, the x value is 3 and the y value is 1. So I'm going to plug that into the equation. So 1 will go in the place of y, the 3 will go in the place of x. And so if you had to go work this part out on your calculator, you would see that that's going to give you minus 1. And then if you had to get c by itself, you would get 2. And so indeed, the y-intercept value is a 2. Moving on to line EF, so it's a straight line, so y is equal to mx plus c. m is the gradient, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I'm going to call f point number 2 and I'm going to call e point number 1. So the formula says that I should find the y value of point number 2. Well, that's just a 2 minus the y value of point number 1. Well, that's negative 2. So I'll just put a negative 2 over there. The x value of point number 2. Well, that's negative 2. And the x value of point number 1. Well, that's negative 3. And so at the top, we're going to get 2 minus minus, which is a plus. So that's going to be 2 plus 2, which is 4. This over here is going to be a plus. So that's minus 2 plus 3, which is 1. And so 4 over 1 is 4. So the gradient of that line is 4. And so I've just filled the 4 in the place of m. Next would be to find the value of c, which we cannot see on this graph. But that's OK, because we just substitute. So I'm going to use f's coordinates. Now f's coordinates are minus 2 and positive 2. Always make sure that when you're sitting at home and you're doing this, you understand where I'm getting these numbers from. And if you ever get slightly stuck, you just press pause, rewatch that section, and 90% of the time, you'll get it the second or third time around, okay? So we substitute this value in. So this is the y value, which is 2. So I plug that in the place of y. And then this is the x value. So I plug that in the place of x. And so 2 is equal to, and then 4 times minus 2 is minus 8. And so then I get c by itself as 10. And so the final equation for that line is y equals to 4x plus 10.